Hey folks, welcome back! In the last weeks I built a lot of these 3D printed knives. And in this series I want to share with you some of the coolest models that I found. If that is something you're interested in, you can subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss the latest and greatest 3D printed knife designs. And in this first video of the series I want to show you this one here, which is the Uochimbo Utility Knife, designed by Potsui. This 3D model is free to download, and at the end of the video I am gonna show you some modifications that I did, and that you can also download for free. Before we start building the knife, a quick shout out to PCBWay.com, which is the sponsor of this video. And they not only can make PCBs for you, but offer on their website a wide variety of manufacturing capabilities, such as CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing and injection molding. You can simply upload your 3D file like this, choose from a variety of different materials, Insert the quantity you want and you get an instant quote. You can even have printed your parts in different metals. Like this one here, that I have ordered from PCBWay for a recent project. Thank you for sponsoring this video and now let's build the knife. I printed it on this carbon fiber textured plate. That is not necessary but gives you this nice looking pattern on one side of the knife. This model works with a standard Stanley blade. That has a blade length of about 61 mm. Make sure that you got one of these blades and not the 60mm standard one. They look almost the same, but the 60mm one will not fit well. As you can see here, the blade on the upper side is not flush. But with the Stanley standard one, it's a perfect fit. These exact blades are a little bit harder to find than the 60mm ones. I found them on AliExpress and I will put you a link into the video description. They cost about $2 per pack of 10 blades. To install the blade, you will need 3 of these M3 by 4mm screws. But before I insert them, I will use this longer M3 screw to pre-cut the threads. So I just turn in the screw by hand until it comes out on the other side. And then I repeat this for the other two holes on the knife. After I finish this, you can see that there is a bit of material sticking out the end of each hole. To get rid of that, we can use the blade that we will later install on the knife. These blades are really sharp and so it's very easy to remove the burr around the holes. And now we can add the blade and insert the screws. And probably the fanciest way to do that is to use an electric screwdriver with motion detection. Like this one that was sent to me by PCBWay. Thanks so much for that, I'm loving it. And it's my new daily driver for all the little screws I come across in my projects. So this way of fixing the blade with the three screws gives the blade a pretty firm hold. And on this side the 4mm long screws sit exactly flush on the surface. In the download file of the knife you will also find a sheet that is made from these three pieces. As you can see I again used the print plate with the carbon fiber structure for this. And my prints turned out to have a bit of an elephant's foot, so I used the deburring tool to get rid of that. Now that this is done, I pre-cut the holes, but only on the larger two pieces. If you don't already have a whole set of M3 screws and you don't want to spend too much money on it, I can highly recommend a set like these to get you started. So you don't have to buy M3 screws in all the different lengths for each new project. And if you then realize that you need more of one length, you can order some in advance at a cheap price from AliExpress or Amazon. However, before we need the screws, we first clear the excess material around the pre-cut holes. For the sheet we need 4 M3 screws with a length of 4mm. I then screw them in from both sides on the lower two holes. Just make sure that you don't over tighten them. And the last one is this one here at the top. And if my calipers are right, this is a bit short of 10 mm. I don't know why, but I grabbed the 8 mm one. One with a length of 10 mm would of course have been the better choice here. In my opinion, this is a very suitable part for using a textured print plate, because you have the pattern on both sides of the sheet. As I mentioned before, I used the 8 mm screw here and I will change that into a 10 mm one which is a better fit. Apart from that, it would be complete now. But there are two things that I would like to modify a bit. Just let me clean up first. So the thing is, the blade is held in place by these three screws 
and it holds pretty well. But I would still like to see a retaining plate, as I know this from other knife models, and I think that would just look a little bit better. To do this, I load the model of the knife into Tinkercad to make a kind of imprint for the blade cover. Then I printed this and that is how it looks. It is somewhat usable, but not very precise. And in order for it to fit well, it has to be adjusted a bit where it fits to the shape of the knife. That would be here, on this side, and around this rounded section down here. I again have pre-treaded these two holes here and get rid of the excess material. For this build I use the filament called Nice Bio by 3D Jake that is quite strong. If you want to build your knife with this blade cover, you have to replace the 4mm screws with three of these M3 screws in 6mm length. The blade cover goes on top of the blade like this and we can insert the longer screws now. So for the original design you would need 7 screws in 4mm and 1 screw in 10mm length. And if you build it with the blade cover you will need 4 times 4mm, 3 times 6mm and 1 in 10mm length. Let's see if it still fits in the sheet. It's a bit tighter now, but I consider that a good thing. I like the design of the sheet and now I'm also happy with the front of the knife. Just the hand grip looks a bit too simple for my taste. So I printed two of these cover sheets. They are very thin, about 0.4mm in height and I printed them in wood PLA on this side of the build plate that has a very grainy structure. That gives me this almost sandpaper like surface that I want to use on the outside of the handle. I will glue them on using this shoe glue that is very much from China. I can't really recommend this glue for the intended usage of repairing shoes, but it works very well with the range of materials used in 3D printing. However, you have to be quick with this type of glue as it dries just a few seconds after application. After I place the second grip cover, I thought it would be a good idea to make the edges look better by using the deburring tool. In retrospect, I'm rather less satisfied with this as I cut off too much of the wood PLA in some areas and the whole thing became more uneven as a result. It would have been better to use a small file or some sandpaper to do this. Yeah, that looked better in my imagination. Anyway, let's clean this up and I show you the result. For this first video of my 3D printed knife series, I have decided to go for a knife that is easy to print with a slightly simpler design. As mentioned, I should have been more careful with the deburring tool here on the grip covers. Apart from that, I am very happy with the result. I like the design, that it has a sheet to store the knife, the blade holder with the three screws is very stable and with the blade cover part that I made, in my opinion, it now looks even better. And if you have one of these printing plates with a pattern on it, the sheet in particular is a great piece to print on one of these. And I almost forgot that I still have the 8mm screw in there. Let's change this. I will put you the links to all the tools, materials and 3D models I used in this video into the description down there. This knife is now finished. Thanks for watching till the end. We don't need that one. I wish you a good time printing and we see us in the next one.